In this video, we're checking out a new charger from Toolkit RC called the Q6AC. This charger is packed with features, but I think my favorite feature is just the fact that it's shaped like a Tesla Cybertruck. Alright, so here is the Q6AC. This is a 4 channel charger that's capable of 1000 watts or 250 watts per channel when powering off of DC power. When powering off of AC, you'll still get 100 watts per channel. The AC input is over on this side right here. And right next to that we have a power switch on, off. I guess we can call this the passenger side rear wheel well. Um, AC controls right here, flip it over, we have our DC input port and we have an XT90. Right next to that we have USB output. So we have a USB-A and a USB-C. The USB-A is capable of 30 watts output and the USB-C is 65 watts output. So both of these are quick chargers. This charger also has a 15 watt wireless charger right on top right here. So now you can charge your phone while you're charging LiPos. On the front of the charger we have our main screen. On this side we have a channel slash back button and then right here we have our jog wheel that Toolkit RC has on a lot of their chargers and this also clicks down. Both of these buttons are just going to help you navigate the menu system. Looking at the back of the charger, we have two pretty good sized fans and these are just gonna help keep the internals cool. And finally, looking at the front and sides of the charger, we have our four separate channels. So we have channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. All four channels have an XT60 and balance plug, but when we look at channels one and four, we actually also have an XT30 hiding underneath this cover. So when you slide that up, you now can charge an XT30 on this one, and then you have the same right here push this up and now you have XT30. Unfortunately on the front ones we don't have that. This is just XT60. With this little sliding door you can't use both of them at once. It's pretty much going to block off the one you're not using. So if you're using this for XT60 the XT30 is going to be blocked and then if you want to use XT30 the XT60 is going to be blocked. Since each channel is separate we can pretty much have any combination of batteries on this thing that we wanted. So you could have an XT60 6S charging over on this side and then you could have two XT60 3S batteries, and then over on this side, you can have a 2S XT30 battery charging. All right, so those are pretty much the specs that I wanted to make sure that I covered. Let's turn this thing on and I'll show you guys the menu system. So I got my AC plug here. I'm gonna plug this in. And since we have a power switch, I'm gonna use that. All right, let's make sure you guys can see this. So this is the main screen that you're greeted with. Uh, pretty straightforward. We have all of these stats right here are gonna fill in when we plug batteries in. And I got a couple batteries I'm gonna plug in and show you guys that. Um, but you can see off the bat right here, this is telling you the input voltage. And then this side is telling you the overall temperature of the charger. Let me plug a battery in so that you guys can see what these stats look like. This is a XT30 4S 650 milliamp LiPo. So I'm gonna plug this in right over on this side. Always plug in your balance lead. I don't know why you wouldn't. So as you can see, this battery is fully charged. It's at 16.7. Um, each cell is at 4.19, so it's pretty much fully charged. With channel one selected, I'm gonna click down on this wheel and that's gonna bring us into our charging menu. So this is where you can select all the charge settings for this battery. Battery type, we can charge LiPo. That's the one I'm gonna use the most. LiHV, LiFe, lithium ion, LTO, nickel metal hydride, PB, power, and UAV bat. Personally, I'm just gonna be using LiPo. So we're gonna select LiPo. Now let's go down to cells. I'm gonna keep this on auto because we're using the balance lead. Like I said, if you have a balance lead, just use it. It's gonna automatically detect how many cells your battery has. You could manually go in here and be like, yeah, it's a 4S, but I'm just gonna keep it on auto. Scroll down to mode. We have three simple modes on this. We got charge, discharge, storage charging the battery, so I'm gonna put it on charge and that's gonna balance charge it since we have it plugged into the balance lead. End voltage, this is where you can select the individual cell voltage that you wanna charge the battery to. Typically with LiPos, you wanna charge it to 4.2. With other batteries, you can charge them to 4.35, but those are typically LiHV. So if you're charging an LiHV, just select LiHV and that should change the end voltage to 4.35. And then finally, charge current. So this is a 650 milliamp, so I'm gonna bring this down to 0.6 amps, select that. Now we can go down to start, and you can see charge to 16.8, looks good. Now if I wanted to charge another battery, I have this 2S LiPo right here. This is an XT30, so I'm gonna plug it in on this side. This is channel four. 
Now we can see on channel four that it's reading at 8.3 volts. This one is also fully charged. So I'm gonna hit the channel button to navigate to channel four, select it. And now we can do the exact same thing that we did for this battery. So we'll select battery type, LiPo, keep it on LiPo. Cells auto, it should automatically detect that this is a 2S LiPo. Mode, charge, end voltage 4.2. Charge current, I'm gonna change that because this is a 450 down to 0.4 amps. Looks good. Now I'll scroll over to start. Charge to 8.4, looks good. And now screw it, say you wanted to charge another battery. We got a 6S uh, XT60, let's plug it into the front. Also, when you have batteries plugged into this thing, you have some LEDs on the front here. The ones that are charging are gonna be red, and then any batteries in standby or that are charged are gonna be blue. So we'll navigate down to channel two. I'm gonna charge this one, this is a 6S. This is a LiPo, auto should detect that it's a 6S. Charge 4.2, charge current, it's a 1050 milliamp. So we're gonna charge this at one amp. And we'll start. So now those three batteries are all charging at the same time off of one charger. All right, so that's the sound that it makes when a battery is completed, and when it's completed, the LED changes to blue. So now we can see that these two are still charging, and you can kind of use this as just a nice quick way to look over and see if a battery is still charging or not. So once that's completed, you can hit OK. Channel one is all set. So now this battery is charged. And while you're charging batteries, you can put your phone on top. Why not? So if you wanted to stop all charging, all you gotta do is click and hold on the jog wheel, and then this screen is gonna pop up. Now you can select an individual channel to stop, or you can just stop all. Stop all is just gonna end charging completely. All right, now finally, let's take a look at the system settings. So to get into the system settings, all you gotta do is click and hold the jog wheel. It's gonna bring you into the setup screen. We have input settings, and this is mainly for the power input, Personally, I just keep this on auto. It's gonna automatically detect what you plug into it and adjust accordingly. Under security settings, you can set the internal temperature limit, a safe time, safe capacity, pretty much limits that you can charge a battery to so that you don't accidentally overcharge. Underneath that, we have synchronous mode, continuous work, work completed. We have end and then you have trickle charge so it can continue to charge the battery a little bit just to kind of keep it continuously at 4.2 volts. I'm gonna keep that at end. Uh, balance, start voltage, battery selection. Backlight, this is pretty much the brightness. Buzzer. Buzzer is just the tone that the beeps are at. Language, English, theme style, I always change this to dark and default settings. Then you have the software version underneath that. All right, so that wraps up the Toolkit RC Q6AC. I've been using this charger for a little over a week now, and I love the fact that I can charge XT60 and XT30 LiPos with this thing. I am a little surprised to say that I've actually been using the wireless charger that's on top of this, and I feel like it actually charges my phone pretty quickly. I love the nod to Tesla. Awesome design on this thing. I was pumped when I took it out of the box, and I was like, oh, it's, it's a Cybertruck. I mean, look at this. These are the wheel wells. You even have a little door handle right here. Come on. I don't really have any complaints as of right now. I'm hoping that the jog wheel on this holds up longer than the one on my M9 did. I used this M9 charger quite a bit as an on-the-go charger for about six months, and then this jog wheel started acting all weird and kind of bouncing all over the place. So I really hope that this one lasts a little bit longer than that one because I really like this charger. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If this video helped you out, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave the video a like, and if you have any questions about the Q6 AC charger, leave a comment down below.